creative placemaking has its roots in planning and urban design. It's about the intentionality of design, more recently infusing creativity into the heart of the design itself. Placemakers are now looking at the arts as a vehicle through which places can be built to capture the very essence of these different communities. Why? So the whole basis of creative placemaking that I think is that you should look at building a branded city. A branded city poised to attract local, regional, and international audiences. Creative placemaking shows what is wonderful about a place when it captures in one space what is indigenous about that city or town. So we have a product, which is cultural tourism. Let's discuss the audiences. So there's this shift happening right now in terms of understanding the market. Instead of focusing solely on the demographics and all the traditional marketing jargon, placemakers are looking at the market as a whole through a value-added lens. So this is our audience, creative, Place making. So these people are environmentally responsible, like being part of the global community, value relationships, and they're not really motivated by the traditional barometers of success. So everybody here is a cultural creative. Research shows that the numbers are growing, but these cultural creatives feel alone. So that's why we have to build a place for them similar to ECR. So why did I choose Arima? Um, born and bred in Arima. And a lot of stuff brought me back here. I never really socialized in Arima after I traveled and came back. But I came back and I found that so many creatives were here, I had to create a space for them. So the first step was to really look at cultural erosion and a sense of identity being scraped away. So there's this term called a lobotomized city. Rebecca Solnit said that a city that doesn't have culture and artists and poets is a city that has been lobotomized. So spaces like this counter that sort of lobotomy. Mm. Transforming a space into a place. So having mm. bought a newspaper one day, um, I didn't have the idea that I was going to find a space like this, but I found it. So I bought a paper after many months of not buying a paper and found this space. And I was like, you know what? Something can happen in this space to create it into a place. That was May 27. So determined and armed with an idea and armed with a mission, um, many people saw that you know this could not have happened because it was really an unused space. But when you went in with a vision, you see that you know what you can turn it into something. So there are a lot of work went into it. So that's me there, physically digging, and my father came in and he was like, you know what? Um, I'm going to help you build this space. So it was built with a lot of love, a lot of family, a lot of community. And I mean, you've seen it, the vibe is here. You feel yeah. the energy in this space. Yeah. <laughs> community. So a lot of buying happened. So the owner of the space bought into the idea. We met people who were already existing here. They had their businesses. That's one of my neighbors in the building. Everybody bought into the idea of bringing creativity to the East. And so ECR was born. Um, a lot of people laugh at me when I say that I had the name for ECR even before I had the space. So they tell me that it was branded into being. And that's really special because I had the name a long time, but I didn't know what would really happen in this space. So it's building a space for culture and creativity to thrive. Social design. Social design looks at how people interact with spaces and we created this space so that things like this could happen. So we have a screen where movie nights can happen. We have a dance studio upstairs. We can have restaurant nights. So a lot of stuff can happen here so people can interact with the space. Monetizing ECR. So at the end of the day, you have to monetize whatever your idea is. And this space is really founded on the basis of a creative community center. When you look at public spaces, this is a private public space. So people are invited here, but we have to monitor it. So what operates out of here? Caribbean Fashion and Arts Feature Festival. That is the body that oversees this space. It's an NGO, and we focus on creative. It's a real creative model. So we focus on arts, fashion, and film. And we also have our creative residency program. So we invite international artists and creatives and artisans to spend a month in Arima, 
being immersed in the culture and the space and that then influences whatever work, whatever new work that they are going to put out. So we have Alana Mark Morris Fantastic here. Um, another important part about what ECAD is doing is that we partner with established brands. So just recently, we had Anime Caribe come to ECAD. Anime Caribe is one of the oldest film festivals in the region, 16 years old, and they never came to Arima before. So just last week, we were happy to welcome them here. So reduced rates and space rental. Um, we are offering this space out as a com creative community center. So we have people coming in and hosting their own events. Here we see Golden Trio, who is these two lovely cultural creatives doing their paint and sip here, and it's now a home. So we're looking at more building capacity like that. We fostering creative entrepreneurship. We have stuff like our ECR market that's happening monthly. So it's not just a space to come and socialize, but it's a space where you can come and engage the audience and they can see what you are doing in terms of your entrepreneurship and purchase, because it's really about that. Yeah? Um, building capacity for youth. So during our festival and even moving forward, the youth is a really big part of what we want to do at ECR. It's about building their capacity, seeing what they are interested in, and guiding them along that path to creative entrepreneurship. Um, even our social missions for this space, we have chosen to focus on gender-based violence prevention and anti-bullying for this space. So in a nutshell, this creative space has a mission, a vision, a social cause, and it also is focusing on cultural entrepreneurship. We are placemaking. <laughs>